Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. Rain, the main story of the day today, especially during the first part of the day. We have a cold front that's developing to our northwest. It's been in place all through the overnight, responsible for some of those stronger storms we saw yesterday evening. And it's going to keep the rain in the forecast through this morning and even into the afternoon. We have some pockets of some moderate rainfall down to the south places in Davies County, heading over into Martin County, wherever you see these darker colors just to the west there of Lagodi and Alfordsville. That is some heavy rain. Same deal over in Greene County, moving just to the east of Linton. Northern portions of Martin County seeing some of this moderate rain. And wherever you see yellow on the Storm Team 10 storm tracker this morning, that's a good indicator that we do have some heavier rainfall in Clay City, Jasonville, Linton, up through Terre Haute. We have seen a pretty consistent rain all through the overnight and embedded with these scattered showers and thunder showers. We have some lightning. It's not too widespread. We're not talking widespread thunderstorms. Just widespread rain is going to be out there this morning. Everywhere you see green, that's going to be rain showing up on the radar. We'll put this into motion over the past several hours. As you can see it slowly, very slowly tracking off to the east, slightly off to the south. So this system is going to be around during a good portion of our Monday. And again, you can see not a ton of lightning with this, but an occasional lightning strike going to be possible. Do keep that in mind. Although the primary threat looking ahead is going to be some flooding concerns, as that's really what's been around through the overnight. Tra uh, looking back at the uh, storm tracker storm reports from yesterday, most of them were wind related. We had 68 mile per hour winds over in Douglas County. Champaign even had some reports of some brief spin up tornadoes. Nothing here like that locally, mainly going to be wind gusts. That was the main threat with those storms that moved through yesterday. And again, looking ahead, going to be uh, the flooding concern as we have rainfall totals that have exceeded over an inch in many locations, just under an inch and a half here in Terre Haute, almost up to four inches in Effingham, isolated places even higher than that. So just be cautious of flooding on the roadways. Perhaps if you travel some roads that often flood, perhaps just find an alternate route for today. Good chance that they are going to be covered in water. Again, we have that cold front that's still off to our northwest this morning. This is the boundary that's responsible for all of this rain that's going to pass on through. Not going to happen though until later this afternoon. So we keep rain around through again a good portion of the day today. We'll begin future cast at six o'clock this morning. Notice the widespread showers and storms stick with us here 7 a.m. Heading into the afternoon, the rain chances really, really will start to diminish a bit after midday as that front finally slides on through. We'll see a little bit of drier weather for the second half of the day today. So breaking down your forecast again, rain will be likely certainly going to need that rain gear this morning into the early afternoon. Rain will slowly start to taper off. Temperatures topping out near 81 for today after yesterday's high near 90 degrees will be a bit cooler, hindered by all of that additional cloud cover. We're in for some drier weather heading into Tuesday here, 7 a.m. Tuesday afternoon, looking for a mostly sunny sky. Same deal, putting us into our Wednesday. This weather model picking up on perhaps an isolated shower Wednesday. I'm going to keep it out of the forecast for now. It does look like maybe just increased humidity. And also, we're going to increase that pollen count. Here's your allergy forecast sponsored by Crow Equipment. Tuesday, again, going to see an increased level of those pollens. Reduced again on Wednesday as we slightly bring in chance, a chance for rain back into the forecast by the middle part of the week. So your forecast for today, scattered showers and thunder showers. Do watch for flooding. Do be cautious of that. Again, we've had a substantial amount of rainfall through the overnight. The rain will continue for today. 81, your forecast high through the overnight tonight. Just a stray shower. Patchy fog, though developing as temperatures fall back near 63 and then drying out for the day tomorrow. Mostly sunny 86 Tuesday hot for the middle part of the week. A high of 90 Wednesday and Thursday. Rain chances returning by Friday and into next weekend.